Art always thrives on a challenge. And I was so intrigued and delighted when I saw this call for artists. It's not every day you see a call to do art in a parking garage. But the challenges and the opportunity that it presented was just too much to resist. And so we're so glad that COPPA and the city have given us the chance to, to do this. So I live in a, I live surrounded by mountains, and I grew up surrounded by oceans and rivers. Um, one of the first things I noticed in coming to your city was just was that big sky with the weather constantly moving overhead that could move in at any minute and you know change everything for you. So the weather kind of loomed large in my thoughts as as we came up with the concept for this art piece. Um, and then there's also the sense, I like to say that no art piece that my company does is complete until people bring some of themselves to it. And so we're going to invite you guys, uh, starting with Mayor Cornette, to bring some of yourself to the artwork. But when you press the button above the sensor, you can wave your hands, you could make a movie on your cell phone, you could um, take your scarf and mittens if it's the winter. If you're wearing a team logo on your shirt, you could stand back and dance around. And those colors and motion are translated directly into what you see projected on these overhead clouds. Yeah, we have prided ourselves, I think, at Oklahoma City of, of, of creating a city where when visitors come in, we give them what they expect, but we also give them things that they don't expect. And I would suggest that this project falls into that latter category. No one is going to come here wondering where they should put their cell phone to create a light show on the ceiling. I also uh, wanted to thank the artist for being creative and adding to the interactive world that we live in, um, using technology, all of the types of things that you know our generation and the next generation are going to kind of be expecting and taking art to another uh, third dimension and adding to the cultural fabric of Oklahoma City was something different. Um, our, our investments in public art have multiplied time and time again over the last few years. And just when you think we've done about everything you can do, we come up with something new like this, which I think is really going to be uh, an addition to the community. The Central Oklahoma Transportation and Parking Authority is celebrating 50 years with uh, hopefully value added, like the artwork in our parking garages or our Wi-Fi on our buses that, uh, that help us uh, uh, create something a little bit better for the citizens of Oklahoma City.